Hello. Thank you for joining me for yoga. Let's begin standing up today. We'll parallel the feet, spread our toes, broaden and lengthen your foot as best you can. Encourage the shoulders to pin back. Wear your smile, pull your tummy in, and feel your posture. Simply standing here. You might try tilting a little bit forward. You might try tilting a little bit back just to find the center. And you might tilt a little bit to one side and a little bit to the other side. Just to better find the center. Balance your body standing here. Good. Inhale your arms overhead. As you exhale, bring your arms back down. Two more times like that, simply breathing the arms high. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale, arms down, adding on to that, a bit of a forward fold, inhale your arms high, from there, exhale your hands towards your knees, take a pause with me, and breathe in here, I invite you to come lower, if you think that's wise, elbows to knees, you can stare at the floor, or relax the back of your neck and look behind you. If you're still comfortable, you might try slipping the arms to dangle. Elbows off the knees. Before too long, let's come up. Hands to knees, if not already. Inhale to flat back. Pause here for me. Very long in the spine, ready to stand tall. Inhale, let's do that. Arms circle high. And exhale, arms down. Now again, two more times. Without that pause at the knees, we're going to fold as low as we comfortably can. Inhale, halfway up. Fold as low as we comfortably can again. And then sweep the arms up. Let's go for it. Inhale, the arms circle. Exhale, forward fold, elbows to knee or lower. Inhale to flat back, look forward, hands to knees. I like you to use your arms there. Exhale, fold again. And inhale, rise, hands to knees, pushes you halfway up. Inhale the rest of the way. And exhale, rest. One more time through our moon salutation. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, a bit of a swan dive, forward folding. Elbows to knees or lower. Inhale, just a half lift, come halfway up. Exhale again, fold. We pass through that halfway point. Inhale, rise. This time, as the arms are up, bend just the left arm. A side stretch. Oh, good morning stretch here. Inhale, rise. Try to fake a yawn as we do the other side. Oh. Inhale, rise. And exhale, arms by your side. Very nice. Thank you for moving with me. Let's open our legs a little wide, shoulder distance apart. Shift your spine on top of your left foot. Shift your spine on top of your right foot. In order to get the spine from foot to foot, we have to lift the other heel. As we place that heel down, the spine shifts, right heel comes off the floor. And it might even be that foot that's pushing your spine on top of the standing leg. A couple more times, side to side, shifting, keeping the shoulders level, the spine tall from one foot 
to the other. Let's finish this way. And rest. Different than that, for counterbalance, we will now tilt our spine, tilt the shoulders and head a little bit off to the side to find counterbalance. So again, lift the right heel, bring your spine on top of your left leg. Now in line with this right leg, tilt your spine. The shoulders have a little tilt to them. With enough reach of your left hand, you'll notice your right toes might float off the ground. And this is counterbalance. The weight of your head and shoulders this way, lifting your leg. Rest. Back to neutral. You notice the effects on the standing leg. It tones the leg. Good work. Spine on top of right leg. Lift the left heel. Tilt your spine in line. Reach and float. Hope everything feels good. Force nothing. It should be a natural floating of the foot up. Easy enough to put back down as well. Good. Inhale your arms up. As you exhale, arms are going to move slightly back behind us and down. We'll add a little squat to it as well. Inhale your arms high. As you exhale, arms slightly back and down. Bend your knees, send your seat just a little bit back. And then inhale back up through posture, long legs and arms. Exhale, bend the knees a little, send your seat back, arms back. Again, inhale, rise. Exhale, arms back, little knee bend. Seat forward, heart forward, you'll notice. Inhale, rise. We can keep eye contact here as we go low. Release of the head. Inhale, up, and you're done. Rest your arms right by your sides. And legs even wider, wider than the shoulders. Let's move through our side warrior positions. Right toes pivot to the right, off of the right heel. Left heel pivots a little bit left, off of the left toes. Heel back touch. Bend your right knee on top of your ankle. Arms open to a T. Warrior two here. Breathe full. Notice the work in your legs, the work in your arms. Make the outside edges of your feet heavier. Ground down through the outside edges of your feet. Gaze over the right arm. Face forward, rest your arms, and straighten your right leg for just a moment. Ideally, this stands more or less comfortable. Let's take left hand to hip, pelvis level, re-bend your right knee, bring that right arm up. Tilt back. Give your left hand some weight. Notice the right arm goes on a diagonal up. If you want more stretch on your right side, try taking your right arm overhead. Head part of the spine, dare you, gaze up. Breathe in. Level the shoulders, bring your right arm down and face forward. Rest both arms and straighten your right leg. Good. Let's take the side angle now. Re-bend the knee. Bend your right elbow as well and tilt your spine in line with your left leg. We did this for counterbalance earlier. Tilt your spine in line with your left leg, and then try to rest this bent arm to your right thigh. The closer to the elbow, the better. If you comfortably can, inchworm that left foot further back. Spine in line with your leg. For more work, left arm alongside ear. And dare you, look up under the arm. Head and neck, part of your spine here. Good. Face forward, left arm down, shoulders level. Straighten that right leg. And let's keep it straight. The pelvis now. 
tilt your pelvis down and to the right, so the left hip higher than the right hip. Notice as the pelvis shifts, the spine goes with it. Neck and head in line with the rest of your spine, please. Yeah, and then notice right arm. Can it rest on right leg anywhere comfortably? If you're lucky, you can get the forearm, the bent arm, to the thigh. Fingertips work though, so does the palm of your hand. Avoid the kneecap proper, either below the knee or above the knee. Feel the length of your spine and the triangle shape in your legs there, independent of the spine, your triangle pose. If you comfortably can, the long spine shifts a little lower. That gives you more stretch. But we're done with it for now. Bend the knee. Bring the shoulders level. Straighten the knee and parallel your feet. Walk your feet towards each other. And check in on your hips. How do they feel after holding the warrior stance for so long? Turn your palms slightly forward, pin the shoulders back, flare your toes, lengthen the foot and broaden the foot. Find a smile, a little tone to your tummy, and your breath. Body balanced here. Breathe easy. And just a couple knee bends, little one, little things there. Two. It's loosening the body as we now straddle wide again. Walk your feet wide as the shoulders. And then wider than the shoulders, twice as wide as the shoulders. We'll pivot off of the left heel to turn the left toes to the left. Pivot off the right toes to shift the right heel back a little bit. Good. Heart wants to face forward, easier to accomplish when we bend that knee. Dig in with the outside edges of your feet and float the arms to shoulder height. Gaze over your left arm and breathe here, noticing the sensations of work in your body. Don't be afraid of looking around your room or out your windows for something comfortable to gaze upon. A steady gaze can help with balance. So we like to pick one thing after all to look at and then Feel the shape from there. The work of the shape, digging in with outside edges of feet. The work of breathing. Feel your breath moving in and moving out. And the next time your breath moves out, turn your face forward, rest your arms down, and straighten your leg. Right hand to right hip. Rebend left knee, bring left arm up in line with shoulder. Now, tilt your shoulders down and back to the right. Check your neck and skull, part of your spine here. If you want a little more work, arm alongside ear, arm overhead, and gaze slightly up. The tendency here is to slowly straighten the left knee Keep it bent, knee right on top of your ankle. Until now, rest, left arm down, shoulders level, and straighten the left leg. Rest that right arm too. Rebend the knee. Tilt your spine in line with the back leg. Rest a bent left arm onto your left leg. A wider stance is helpful here. If you comfortably can, walk back a little extra, an inch or two or even three, and see if you can rest more of your forearm, elbow, to your left thigh. You don't want to go too low, as remember, the spine is in line with that back leg, the neck and skull part of the, the spine, of course. For extra challenge, right arm alongside ear, and gaze under the arm. Dig in still with the outside edges of your feet. Keep the toes flaring, your tummy tone. And then right arm down, shoulders level, 
straighten left leg. And now we'll play with the pelvis tilting. Tilt your left hip down, the right hip high. Notice as the pelvis shifts, so does the rest of your torso. Your torso is connected to your pelvis. And find a comfortable place for your left hand, fingertips, or elbow if you're low enough, to rest. Get comfy here. If you can, in time, shift this long spine down a little lower. Careful of rounding the spine now. We don't want a side stretch to get lower. We want to keep the spine long and shift its whole length lower eventually. Breathe easy. Don't work too hard. Let's re bend left knee. Level the shoulders. And then straighten the left leg. Parallel your feet. Bring your legs back together for mountain pose. A comfortable distance between the feet, a little pinning back of the shoulders. Extra tone to the tummy, but softer legs. Smile. Breathe easy. And notice your balance. Now, I invite you to close your eyes. If you know that's a bad idea, don't do it. When you close the eyes, it's just easier to feel what's going on inside your body. Your breath, your balance. If it feels like you're gonna fall over, open your eyes before you do. And let's all open our eyes now. Slowly, no rush. Good. Let's bring it down a little. Good job with the standing exercises. And a seated position. Walk close by, cushion or nothing at all, as you like. I'll have a cushion today. Find the floor as easy as you can. Take your time, don't rush. I always recommend sitting on a prop Elevating the pelvis makes the hips a little happier here. Any seated position is fine. Any cross-legged position is fine. Any position with your legs that feels good for you is fine. Please find a comfortable seated position. We won't be here too long. Lift through your posture. In your shoulders back a little bit and encourage your elbows under the shoulders. Notice your spine. Notice neck and skull, part of your spine. And I invite you to close your eyes. Observe breath and your body balanced here. The work of posture, the sensations in relaxing legs. Sensations in your relaxing arms. Feel your body. Breathe. Dare you even smile. Smile at your breath. Welcome, inhale. And welcome its release into exhale. Open your eyes, if not already. It's always nice to do that slowly. Slowly open the eyes. Change your legs positioning in any other way. If you're cross-legged, other leg in front. Put one leg's out, put the other leg out. Find a comfortable seated position with your legs anywhere but where they just were a moment ago. You'll notice me pulling flesh out from underneath of my pelvic bones. Flesh out from underneath of the seat gives you a better connection to whatever it is you're sitting on, be it a prop, a cushion, or the floor itself. Elbows under shoulders, posture long, yet easy. Wear your smile, feel your tummy working. Good. 
blink the eyes closed as you're ready. Just sit with posture, please. Observe your breath, your mood, your thoughts as they run through your mind. I hope your mind is focused on your breath, feeling your body parts, arms and legs relaxing. Torso relaxing just as it can, even as you keep your torso tall. If you're not already, slowly float your eyes open. And now let's all extend legs forward. Comfortably, the more bend in your knees, chances are the more comfortable you'll be here. You don't have to straighten out at the knees all the way, only as you're comfortable. A little bend again to the knees is welcome. Try to line the legs up with your hip sockets, about two fist distance between your feet. Good. From here, pull some flesh out from underneath of your pelvis. One cheek at a time, and then rest your elbows to your legs. The more you bend your knees, the easier it is to rest the elbows to your legs. Eventually lean into the elbows, and then eventually reach your hands or arms more down the legs. All as you're comfortable. You want the arms to be resting on the legs. The arms are relaxed, not even holding themselves. Legs are relaxed there even as they're stretching, and even as you might be keeping your toes pointing up. Eventually, relax through the back of your neck. Allow for your spine to fall lower. Your body might shift and settle always straighten out at the knees if you think you comfortably can. Now that we're forward like this, stretching through the back side, you want to tone the tummy in extra. It might even allow for us to sink a little low. And keep your tummy in and place your hands underneath of your shoulders. Use the pressing power of your arms to rise. Your arms help you to roll up your spine. Really good. Really good indeed. Bring just your left foot in a touch and stand your right foot to the ground. We'll take a small twist. Left hand holds right knee. I need you to pull your heart forward and tall as your right hand then comes behind you. Bring your right hand as close to you as you can. If your right hand is too far back, you wind up leaning back to rest against it. I want your hand right underneath of your shoulder if you can manage that. Shoulders level, posture plumb, and the gaze goes back eventually. Feel the twist in your spine. Breathe in. Exhale, unwind the twist. And other side. So right knee falls to the side. You could bring the right foot in more if you're comfortable that way. The right foot in just a little bit works too, though. Holding the left knee is your back strength, your arms, to pull the chest forward and up. Right hand's going to hold the left knee. And left hand comes as close to you as it can be behind the pelvis in order to twist. Hold the spine long. Hold the twist steady. Breathe freely and look behind you as you do. Continue to breathe. 
find ways to work less, keep the shape, but work less, settle into the posture, muscles and bones, don't have to strain as much. Breathe in to prepare. As you exhale, unwind. Good work. Let's switch legs again. Left foot in a touch. Right leg, this time, out to the side. A little bend in the knee, or a lot of bend in the knee is welcome, as you need. Bend that knee. Try to keep knee and toes pointing up at the ceiling, though. Turn your heart to face the right knee. Lift your waist longer, tilt forward, and relax over the length of your right leg. Again, however bent the knee needs to be, you can always straighten it later on. Aim heart and nose for knee. Not in front of knee, not behind the knee, right to the knee. Good leg stretch. I hope you can also feel this in your back. Stretch. Tone the tummy. Lifting your belly button in a little bit. See if you can relax lower. And then rise. Roll up your spine. Turn your heart towards your left knee. Rest your right forearm or elbow to your right thigh. You could also go inside the thigh. Left arm overhead, as if left fingers are reaching for right toes. Gaze up under the left arm. Smile. Breathe into the side stretch. Perhaps still able to feel your leg stretch. Breathe in fully. As you exhale, let's bring left arm down. And posture up. To face forward. Other leg. Left leg long, right foot in. Knee bent out to the side. Bring your foot in more or less as you like. Left leg on a diagonal left waist. Not true left, not straight ahead, just the diagonal side. And you can always bend the knee as much as you need to find yourself comfortable here. We want to lift through the spine, longer waist, twist heart and nose towards the left knee. Keep the toes and knee pointing up even as you tilt towards them. Surrender. Nose to knee. Heart aiming for the knee. If you comfortably can straighten the leg, by all means do. Try to keep your toes pointing up. Nice single leg stretch. Stretch through your backside as well. Keep the tummy tone. Surrender lower. Bow your head. And now use arm strength to rise, push down against your arm strength, roll up through your posture. Long and lifted posture, turn your heart towards the right knee, and then tilt your shoulders down and to the left. Left forearm or elbow rests atop your left thigh, 
or it could rest inside the thigh if you want to get lower. As you're comfortable, right arm reaches overhead. Yes, careful. Tendencies to reach arm across chest this way. We really want to be going the long way. Up and over the rainbow. Ooh, it's a long journey for that hand. Only gets as close as it's going to get. You don't have to force anything. Save for the length in your spine, head and neck part of that. Gaze up a little. See if there's any give. Can you surrender lower? As you exhale, moving that right arm down, its weight and momentum can help level the shoulders. Nice. And we're back up. Let's take a wide leg forward fold. Left off leg's already there. Right leg joins it. Now, here again, knees can be bent as much as you need in order to find yourself comfortable here. You might try different positions with the legs too different amounts of cushion underneath of you as well. The higher up you go, the easier this becomes. If you have a stair close by, you might try sitting yourself to the stair and straddling out from that first step. You can go up to the second step. Well, anyway, comfortably lower. <clears throat> Elbows can rest against thighs if that's accessible. Hands could also rest to the floor. That tends to be a little bit more stretched though as you like it. Straighten the legs in time. It doesn't mean today necessarily. Relax lower. Always relax lower. Look for places to rest. Muscles working that don't need to be. And allow for surrender. Allow for release in your body. Even ask for tight spots to let go. You experience length there instead. Will your body guide and direct your body into the stretch? Mind and body, breath and all, forward folding here, a little extra tummy tone, always appreciated, ground in full breathing, use your arm strength to rise, come on up, arms push you up, Okay, well, that completes our seated exercises. Let's come on to back, constructive rest. That's both feet standing down as we lay back. Check in on your body here. Can you bring your feet comfortably a little closer to your seat? If you can comfortably, please do. If it's a strain, never strain. Again, observe your body resting against the floor here. Arms wherever you please. It's a little bit of work to hold the knees up there. Can you relax your legs more fully? Your arms, chest, and shoulders. Relax them more as well. How about your lower back? Your abdominals. Did you try to relax? Lower back. The muscles of your torso. Soft. 
can always move your feet. That'll make you more comfortable. Good to spend some time in constructive rest, simply relaxing, bones heavy against the floor. It's therapeutic, and it passively aligns your lower back and sacrum. Which we now work with sacrum and tailbone, your pelvis. Tilt it up a little bit. Lift the pelvis off the floor. As your hips come up, notice your knees might travel forward a little bit. Please, good. Oh, nose needs to point up at the ceiling. If you comfortably can, lift your chest a little higher, and that might encourage you to tuck your chin in and get longer on the back of your neck. Slowly, slowly now, Lower the pelvis back down to the floor. Once you're all the way down, fully connect to the ground. Try to relax your torso extra, both arms and both legs. Relax more fully as well. One more time. Lightly tilt the tailbone up. Begin to lift the pelvis. No body says how high. It's completely up to you. Knees might travel forward as the pelvis lifts higher. Try to lift your chest. Remember, nose wants to point up at the ceiling here. And then after a brief hold, we slowly Lower, extra slow, more strength and control there. Notice where you're working as you slowly lower your pelvis back down to the ground. And it's gonna be legs and torso, of course. Once your pelvis is down completely, relax your arms, legs, and torso. Arms out to the side, in line with the shoulders. A T-shape for the arms. Now a figure four shape for the legs. Bring your right ankle towards your left knee. That's right ankle to your left knee. Bring your left knee to the floor on your left side. Just timber off the left foot. Left knee comes to the floor and it brings your whole right foot and leg with it. Gaze over your right shoulder away from the legs. Ideally, right kneecap is pointing up at the ceiling and the sole of your right foot is standing on the floor. Rest and relax here. Trying to keep your composure so you cannot relax completely otherwise the Shape will crumble away, which is good. We want to hold our stretch, relaxing as much as we can while still retaining the shape. And then compare contrast this position to the next one, right foot to left foot right knee towards left knee. I call this your simple twist. Reset center, constructive rest with the feet flat and the nose up. Left ankle to right knee, arms still out to the T. Right knee comes to the floor, pivoting off the right foot. Right knee comes to the floor and it brings left foot and left leg with it. This is a twisting figure four. 
Ideally, the left knee points up at the ceiling, and your gaze goes away from the legs. Gaze to your left. Relax as best you can. Breathe. And relax. Ask tight muscles to relax. And then compare and contrast this twisting figure four to now a simple twist. Bring your left foot to your right foot, left knee to right knee. And gaze still away from the legs. Gaze over the left arm. Reset the middle. Constructive rest. Nose points up the ceiling. Feet stand flat to the floor. Open your feet about as wide as your shoulders. Walk your feet away from each other. Turn your toes in and encourage your knees to fall in and towards each other. Knock knees by any other name here. Knock knees opens the back side of the pelvis, blossoms the sacrum, Try to compare and contrast. Knock knees where you are now. To constructive rest proper. Feet come back in towards each other. Feet parallel. Can you feel the difference between the two? Well, compare and contrast your body here to now legs extending along against the ground. Observe sensations in the body. Fidget as you like. Press your heels more forward. Scoot your tail down. Walk your shoulders and arms down. Tuck your chin in. All in an effort to get more comfortable here. Eventually close your eyes. Rest against the floor. Observe sensations. Try to let them go. Observe inhalation. Definitely let it go. Inhaling and exhaling. Resting and relaxing against the floor. With each exhalation, you relax a little bit more. body, inhaling and exhaling, with each exhalation, relax your body still more, Slowly awake from our rest, 
Here we go, your fingers and toes. Find your favorite side, a fetal position. And come up, up to seated. Welcome to find your prop under the pelvis. Posture tall, no rush, arrive as you do. Posture tall, legs comfortably below you. As you're ready, circle your arms out to the side and go. Breathe in. Bring your palms to prayer. Exhale your hands to your heart. Inhale, grow tall. As you exhale, bow your head to your heart. We wish for the best, the best for you, and the best for all those you care for. We thank you. Thank you for sharing your time, your attention, and your best wishes. Until next time, stay hydrated, keep moving, and keep your posture proud. Aloha.